So I'm Jenny. I'm the community resources manager here at Compass. And so what that basically means is I get to work with all of our different community partners um, with volunteer days, with collecting donations, and then just having conversations with people about housing and homelessness. Um, so I normally get to go out uh, into the community a lot more. And probably if this wasn't happening like this, I would actually get to come talk to people in person. Um, so obviously that's had to be adjusted a bit. Um, and I've been here at Compass for about three years. So yeah. Needs and issues kind of facing the homeless community right now in this particular time, you know? Yeah, so something that is a pretty big problem right now, um, specifically for those folks who are facing homelessness, um, is the lack of access to restrooms, um, especially even just places for people to wash their hands. That's something that we're telling everybody to do on a very regular basis. Um, and that's really hard to do if you don't have a place to call home or a place that you can do that at. Um, because normally people are able to go to like friendly coffee shops or the libraries is a really big one um, or other day centers. And a lot of those places are closed right now. A lot of hygiene centers even are closed. And so um, our hygiene center in Pioneer Square is still open. And so we get to help a lot of people there. Um, and then our 24 hour shelters obviously can do that as well. Um, so something else that's kind of happening right now in the community just kind of added on top of COVID is that there's now a hepatitis A outbreak happening, um, you know, which is just another kind of scary sickness um, that is spreading through the community because so many hygiene centers are closed. And that's really how that um, sickness has spread itself. Um, and then something else that's kind of happening for both um, people who are experiencing homelessness and a lot of our low income clients and residents is a huge sense of food insecurity right now, which is kind of, I mean, all of these issues are always present. They're just becoming so much larger because of everything else that's happening. Um, and so because a lot of people have lost their jobs or even if they didn't lose their job, but their paycheck is just kind of on hold, doesn't exist right now. Um, we've, because of all the, like the shutdowns that had to happen to stop the virus from spreading, um, that's been a, a huge thing that a lot of people are facing. Um, and so we've been partnering with lots of food banks and groups like the YMCA and different churches and a lot of individual donors to make sure that we can get food to everyone that we're trying to help. Um, but that is, you know, one of those underlying problems that's, that's always been there. The same thing with hygiene centers um, and just all of the different things that happen when you, when you don't have a place to go home, like um, how much harder it is even to like, apply for unemployment if you don't have a computer, you don't have Wi-Fi, you don't have um, any of those things that you would have if you had a place to come home to at night. Um, and so we're just seeing a lot of um, bad things made a lot worse right now. No, I was thinking a little bit, you mentioned um, the need for those hygiene kits. Mm -hmm. And um, I've emailed out the group and, and a couple of the parents have responded with questions of, you know, what's better? Is it travel size and more? Or is it larger size? You know, our whole process around this is to treat it with dignity. Mm -hmm. And um, just should we be looking to reach more people? You know, like what's the, what's kind of the best practice in that? And then if you could share a little bit too about, you know, what's in the kit just to reinforce for the people listening. So. Yeah, so we can use both travel size and kind of personal size or even bulk sizes. It just kind of depends on what the item is. Um, and normally we'll say, oh, just all do travel size because it's easier to kind of keep it together. But so at the hygiene center and at the shelters, we actually normally will buy shampoo and soap. Like those are the two things we'll always have. Um, and we'll buy those in bulk sizes and use like the ketchup cups from like restaurants. Uh, to get that to people. So like travel sizes for toothpaste or shaving cream and stuff like that, that is super helpful because then people, if they are using our hygiene center in conjunction with another shelter, or maybe they, once, you know, restaurants and stuff open again, they have a place to go, they can still use those things. Um, but bulk sizes and travel sizes are great. Um, 
Shampoo and soap is always really helpful. Um, bar soap is really nice for the shelters specifically. Um, at the hygiene center, they prefer the liquid soap. That way we can kind of dole it out to more people. Um, toothbrushes and toothpaste are incredibly helpful because um, those are, that's something that we aren't able to provide um, unless it's donated. So like I said, we, we normally always have at least soap. Anything else is supplemental and incredibly helpful because just think about how much better you feel at the end of the day once you've like showered and brushed your teeth and done everything. Um, so toothbrushes and toothpaste are super helpful. Um, shaving cream and razors, um, lotion, especially now that we're all hopefully washing our hands a lot more and using hand sanitizer and our hands are drying out a lot. Um, the lotion is really helpful there. Um, and then deodorant is a really big thing. Um, that can obviously be a regular personal size because we just get it to one person and then they have that for however long they can use it. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Yeah. Um, I really appreciate it. I hope we can really um, get some good kits and get some good resources together. Um, I really, really hopeful for that. So, um, all right, kids, if you are watching this, get excited about getting together those hygiene kits because they're really gonna help Jenny and they're really gonna help the people that she works with and supplies and ministers. So we are lucky to be able to do something in service here for this year. All right, thank you.